Hello everyone, welcome to getting started video series for Telric Test Studio. In this video, we're going to learn about how you can analyze UI elements for your app and write tests for them. We're going to check out how we are going to use add to elements feature to add elements on your page to elements repository for Test Studio and add verification and action steps for them. We can also use locate in DOM feature for Test Studio to add verification and action steps using advanced recording tools. We can also use mouse actions to perform left click, right click, double clicks, hover over actions without actually performing those actions while recording the test. And towards the end, we're going to learn about how we can use scroll action to scroll to the bottom of the page or top of the page or even center of the page to navigate to particular part of the page so that we can perform some actions and write some tests. Sometimes we need to write tests to check if particular element on the page is not existing. Let's look at this test. Here I have this expanded checkbox. Whenever I uncheck this, then the drawer component gets collapsed. And whenever I check this, then the drawer component gets expanded. I would like to check if user unchecks this, then the profile picture is not existing on the page. Let's try to write the test for it. Here I have created a test in my test studio, which is currently empty. I'm going to right click on it and try to record that test. I'm going to select the URL and select the browser that I'm going to use for recording. Here I'm going to perform the action which will collapse the drawer component and will disappear the profile picture. Whenever I uncheck this, then that step gets recorded in the test studio but there is no way for me to check if the profile picture is existing on the page or not because we don't see that profile picture but we can use add to elements feature to add that profile picture into our elements panel if i go to my test studio we have this elements panel which shows all the elements which are used for all the tests that we have written we can add that profile picture in our elements panel and use that element to either write action or verification steps. Let's try to do that. For that, I'm going to select this highlighting option and then hover over the profile picture and add that profile picture into my elements. Before I add that element, I would like to check if that profile picture is existing in my elements panel or not. For that, I'm going to go back to my test studio and search for that element. And you can see that that profile picture is not existing in my elements panel. I'm going to go back to my browser, hover over this profile picture and add to elements and add that element into my elements panel. Now, if I go back to my test studio, you can see that blank profile picture is shown in our elements panel here. Now we are going to perform the action which disappears this profile picture and then close the browser to stop recording. Now we can come back to our test studio to add that verification step from our elements panel. Here I'm going to select our blank profile picture element and then add a verification step which is going to check if that element is existing on the page or not i'm going to select this add steps button to add that step into my test here it will add a step which is going to check if that element is existing on the page or not i'm going to unselect this to verify that element should not be existing on the page now we have a test which will perform all its action and will make sure that the profile picture is not existing. There are a couple of tests 
that we don't need because it's unchecking the checkbox and then checking again then unchecking again so i'm going to delete these two steps and now we have our test ready to verify the profile picture is not existing i'm going to go back to my test and right click on the test and run the test it's going to open the browser load the extension and perform the action to uncheck the checkbox and it will use the element from our elements panel to verify that that element is not existing on the page so this is how you can use add to elements feature to add particular element into your elements panel and then use step builder to add actions or verification steps into your current tests in the previous section we saw how we can add elements into elements panel and writing steps for them from the step builder but this is something that you can perform by using advanced recording tool too let's try to use locate in dom feature and using advanced recording tool to write the same test for that i'm going to right click on this empty test and try and record the test and now instead of using add to elements feature i'm going to use locate in dom feature in order to write the step once i click on it then it's going to open advanced recording tools and it's going to select the image that we hovered over and try to locate that element in the DOM. I'm going to select this and then come to element steps panel here. And here we have action and verification panels. From here, you can add steps in your tests to either perform actions or verifications. We would like to verify that this element is not existing on the page. For that, I'm going to select this exist option here and in the drop down, I'm going to select false. And then I'm going to select this add steps button to add that step into my test studio. Now, if I go back to the test studio, you can see that step getting added into my test. Now, there is one more step that we need to perform in order to check our test which is to uncheck this checkbox i'm going to uncheck that that step will get added into the test i'm going to close the browser to stop the recording now we do have our test ready but the steps are not in order we have this middle step which is at the end so i'm going to drag this step in the middle to keep all the steps in order now it's going to navigate to our local host 5001 and then it's going to uncheck the checkbox and make sure that the profile picture is not existing on the page. Let's save our test and run our test to make sure that is passing. Test Studio will perform all the tests and now you can see that our test is passing. So you can use locate in DOM feature and use advanced recording tool to add action and verification steps from your browser. We have been writing a test to make sure that the profile picture is not existing on the page when user unchecks this checkbox. But to record those steps, we have to uncheck this checkbox. We can use mouse actions to record a step without actually performing the action. Let's check that out. For that, I'm going to right click on this empty test and record this test. And now instead of actually unchecking this checkbox, I'm going to select this highlighting option, hover over this checkbox and select a mouse action which is actually going to uncheck this checkbox. The mouse action is going to be left click which is going to uncheck the checkbox. We have other options related to mouse too. 
we can perform those two but i'm going to select left click because that's the action which is going to uncheck the checkbox now if i go back to test studio you can see that it added a step to left click on the checkbox now we can add a verification step to make sure that this profile picture is not existing on the page for that i'm going to select this weight element does not exist verification step and then i'm going to close the browser to stop the recording and now you can see that we have all the steps in our test we have navigate to this url we have a left click on the checkbox and the final step is to verify that the profile picture is not existing on the page let's run this test to make sure that it's passing you can see that test studio perform all the steps and our test is passing so this is how you can record steps without actually performing the action by using mouse actions you can use scroll action to scroll to the particular part of the component so that you can record your steps in this test i'm going to navigate to publishers page and here i'm going to add a new publisher the new publisher is going to be new york times i'm going to select city as new york city and when i click on save you can see that it doesn't get populated here new york times is the last item on the list view so to verify new york times is getting added in the database we had to scroll down to the page and then we clicked on the last page to check new york times is getting added or not let's try to record this test for that i've already created empty test and i'm going to right click on it and click on record and then navigate to publishers page and then i'm going to click on add button and enter my text which is new york times and then select the city and click on save once i click on save then you can see that all those steps are getting added in my test studio but the step which doesn't get added is the scroll action if i scroll my mouse that something is not getting added in my test studio so to add that action in our test studio i'm going to highlight my list view component and select telric blazer list view and here i'm going to select scroll action and select to the bottom of the page once i do that then that step gets added in my test studio you can see that scroll div to bottom of the window so that test studio knows to scroll down to the bottom of the window to perform the next action now i'm going to come back to my browser and then i'm going to click on this last page and then i can verify if the text is new york times or not for that i'm again going to select the highlighting option hover over my new york times and then add a quick step to make sure that the text is new york times that step will get added into our test studio and now i'm going to run this test to verify if new york times is getting added in our database or not and now you can see that it performed all the steps and our test is passing so this is how you can use scroll actions to scroll to bottom of the page even center of the page top of the page to perform your next actions that's all for this video if you have any questions please post them in the comment section below or you can reach out to me on my twitter handle or you can send me an email thanks again i'll see you in the next one Bye.